Hello and welcome to Babushka Land. Today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic bread farm and an automatic wheat farm all underneath your iron farm from Silent Whisperer. First, place some fences down, put a fence gate, then put a pressure plate at each entrance so that it's easy to get in, but not so easy for the villagers to get out. Now that your fences are in place, your villagers are trapped inside and you have ease of access. Next, we're going to move on to the hopper storage system. Next, we're going to build the area to trap the villager in. And build yourself a little staircase that goes out so you can access the treasure chest. Pop the treasure chest down. Attach two hoppers to it, like so. Put a rail down. Put a minecart with a hopper on top. Get rid of the rail. Fill it back in here. Fill this in as well. Throw some glass in, and now your villager will be almost trapped. Next, we're going to work on trapping the villager. So we're going to use a rail transportation system. Once you have your villager trapped in a minecart, just push him into where you want him to go. Put three temporary blocks down, break the middle, put a trap door down, dig yourself down a bit, get another trap door in. Next, make an infinite water source. Put a stair down, waterlog the stair. Next, let's assign some jobs to our villagers. I do not want this guy here to be a farmer. I want to trade with him, so I'm going to put this uh, blast furnace thingy there. I'm going to knock out this glass here, and boom, now he has a job. Now I can trade with him as I please. You're going to want your other villager to be a farmer, so you can assign a composter to him. And there he is. Now he's a free-range organic villager. Look at that, he's looking around, and what does he need? He needs some ground to farm. I'm going to give that to him. Since his inventory is empty, he's not planting seeds, so I need to give him some seeds. Hey, farmer guy, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's give you some seeds. Once your villager's job is assigned, he will start planting the seeds. So let's test this out. So he's harvesting all the wheat. I think my farmer is not pathfinding to the other villager because the other villager is one block lower. So I'm going to have to raise the guy who I've trapped here and we'll come back and see what happens. So now they've made a little baby which is nice, I could use another farmer here. And I'm going to rebuild this cage system so that it's a little bit better. Excuse me buddy. I'm going to connect two hoppers to it like this, and let's throw this guy back in there. So I'm going to assign this guy his job. Nice. Then I'm going to put a fence on top of this hopper, take him out of his box, and now he's stuck. 
Nice. He's not going anywhere. Maybe it will be easier for the farmer here to feed him. Hey, go feed your friend. Feed your friend. I'm going to put a composter on the opposite corner here. When this baby villager grows up, he's going to farm on this side. So, I left the game AFK for a while. And let's see what's inside the treasure chest. A lot of bread. Well, it looks like I messed up and made an automatic bread farm. But, this can definitely be saved. And this can definitely become an automatic wheat farm. So, the next steps are going to be to wall off half of the farm here and then I'm going to throw a hopper with a mine cart and a bunch of rails underneath and then the uh, hopper with the mine cart will pick up all of the wheat and seeds that the villager on this side farms and the villager on this side over here will farm the uh, bread and throw it at well we'll farm then make bread and throw it at this guy here so then we will have an automatic bread farm and an automatic wheat farm in one farm together. First I'm gonna have to start off by unwaterlogging these stairs. Now I'm gonna have to dig out the floor. Once you've hollowed out your ground for your rail, you should Make a little indent, like so. Fill it with redstone torches. And now you have a bunch of powered dirt blocks. Put your redstone torches down. And mark the area somehow on top. I'm going to do that over here as well so it's easier. Pop a redstone torch down in the corner here. Put an activator rail there. And start to build your train track. There you go. Once your rail system is placed down, put your minecart with hopper on the rail system and see if it works. Okay, it looks like it works. I think it could be a little faster, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the amount of powered rail that I have here. I think that's a lot better. I'm going to increase it even more just because I have some extra and I'm not really worried about resources at the moment. Okay, that's a lot of powered rail, let's see. Oh yeah, that's way better, it's not slowing down at all. So once the minecart with the hopper is set up, and you have your rail going, you can go ahead and fill the ground back in with dirt. Keep in mind that my minecart is going to deposit into these hoppers that I already have lined up here. So you can always connect this to an automatic item sorting system, which I am, or you can connect your hoppers to a treasure chest. Once your ground is filled in, throw some items down to test it out, see if the items get grabbed. Look at that, perfect. Next, re-water log your stairs. Underneath here, I'm going to connect the hopper system that 
uh, brings iron into the hopper line to the composter so that when the villager makes a uh, bone meal, I'm going to also be able to collect his, the bone meal he makes. Oh, just going to pop that there. No, maybe a little... Oh, that's gone. <laughs> just a little bit out this way. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe. Nope, won't work. Okay, like so, that'll be perfect. Yep. I need to just go take back that composter. There it is, perfect. Then he's connected. I'm just going to transport this villager over here onto this side, and then I'm going to fence him in. I want the entrance right about here. Perfect. Again, I'm going to put some pressure plates down so it's easy to get in and hard for the villager to get out. I'm going to go ahead and connect the bread line to the main uh, hopper line. Now the bread will go directly to the item sorter. Get all that soil tilled and I can let this guy free. Okay look at that, he's planting the crops. So in order to test out if this thing is now working, I'm going to bone meal a bunch of this wheat here and I'm going to try and fill this guy's inventory up. Uh, throw him all my wheat, more wheat, a lot of seeds. Okay, so this guy's over here now, he's harvesting everything. Now if we start seeing a little bit of this stuff arriving, that means this farm is fully functioning. Quick note, if you put the composter three blocks above where the villager walks, he will not turn wheat or seeds into bone meal. You can therefore increase your wheat and seed production. If we check over here, it's a good amount of seeds, good amount of wheat, good amount of bread coming in, and just a little bit of bone meal. So it turns out that this is a wheat, bone meal, seeds, and bread farm. Okay, I guess it worked out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you'll find this useful. Don't make the same mistakes I did. See you later, have a nice day.